hello everyone in this session we'll look into how we create a PDF file using PHP so what I do uh, initially I create one empty folder that will move act as my root folder let's consider I'm giving this name as PHP tute all right the folder is currently empty secondly I'm uh, gonna to use atom editor you can use editor as per your choice so let me first open that uh, folder I'm using uh, Ubuntu over here so in Ubuntu it gets stored in the root folder var then www HTML and this is the folder PHP tute initially file is empty now uh, wha what we are going to do over here that uh, in order to create a PDF file what we'll do first we'll create first one HTML page either it, it may be the HTML or it may be the PHP page uh, that will have one button alright and the moment we click on that button in the new tab the PHP file will get open okay so let's consider uh, let's start with this so initially we require one index page so I'm adding one new file and I'll save this in this folder PHP tute with the name index.php alright so first let's check whether the PHP is working or not so let's see I write uh, PHP let's display something uh, let's consider we are writing echo hello world of programmers so let me save it uh, let's open the browser and first cross check whether your local host is working yes Apache is working and then uh, main folder that is PHP tute okay if there is any error uh, this file won't get open but uh, we have created the index file so it's searching for that and uh, it's getting displayed hello world of programmers if we check up on the source code uh, you won't uh, see anything where view source selection okay not source selection page source look nothing getting visible nothing getting visible over here all right so let's start with this what we want we want one uh, button over here and the moment we click on that button a new PDF file should get open but it should get on uh, open in the another tab so what we do over here uh, let's get back, get back to this part uh, let's consider uh, let's add some HTML tag over here we'll use form okay on action what should happen uh, a new file should get opened and that's the PDF file so let's consider I'm, w I'm w I rename that file as first PDF and it's a PHP file all right method will be remain post and I want that file to get open and another tab so I'll give target as blank all right now let's have the button over there button type submit uh, let's say we write over here click here all right let me remove this unwanted part so let me save it and let's uh, refresh the page yes now the moment I click over here because we are use uh, the attribute target blank so we are getting open on the next page but it's saying not found not found because uh, if we check up on the root folder that is PHP cut there is no file such as first PDF dot PHP because of which it's giving an error so what do we do over here we go to this the editor and we add a new file let me copy this name okay oh, oh, oh my mistake let me copy it and let me add the new file and let me save it first pdf.php okay so it's getting saved so now if I refresh that uh, this error will get rid of okay recent okay so it's getting fine but we don't want the to this file to uh, get open in the form of normal page we want this file to get open in the form of a PDF now for that purpose uh, 
hit the google and search for fpdf.org it's a pdf library all right and uh, fully supported by php all right so first thing what you need to do is that you need to go to downloads and from here you download this zip file all right so just cut paste this or cut this folder uh, zip file and paste it in your root folder root is what php tute so let's paste over here and extract these components all right now from these contents you copy all folders and the most important file that is fpdf.php all right and uh, you can copy even this also dot css in some cases you may require this file i just copy it and i paste it in the main folder all right uh, i repeat uh, i have downloaded that uh, zip file okay i have pasted that uh, downloaded uh, zip file to the parent folder and extracted and from this i am just taking the folders such as make font oh you don't require the tutorial folder over here i just remove why, why you require the tutorial okay so we are copying at uh, four folders font doc and make font all right these three and two additional files that is fpdf.php and fpdf.css now when you, if you go through this uh, fpdf.org it supports a lot of tutorials okay so just if you click on the tutorial it has some uh, some seven to eight uh, there are seven uh, tutorials apart from this you will have the manual and some links and everything from the manual you can check up on how if you are going to add a new page how you're going to add the new page if you want to write somewhere something on the pdf file how what you can use we have whether you can use cell that is uh, this part to write on a single line or if you have something wherein you are going to use multiple lines then in that case use multi cell okay so initially what we do from uh, current uh, point we are just creating one dummy example over here a dummy file so what we'll do we're going tutorials and from this tutorial you just uh, go for tutorial one and here you can you just copy this code and paste over here all right let's save it and we go back we refresh even if you don't the refresh accepted and just click over here and now look at this now it's not coming in the form of a web page it's coming uh, in the form of a pdf even if you try to save it it will save it in the form of dot pdf now coming back to this if you check up on this code look the very first line what's that require fpdf this fpdf.php this is a file that is required to create a pdf file all right then you uh, create a new instance by using fpdf you're adding a page by using the function add page then you are using uh, set font and then to write you are using cell now let's consider if i'm uh, writing something like this dollar uh, pdf i want to write uh, hello world of, or let's consider welcome to uh, pdf pages using php so for that purpose i need to use the cell property uh, and cell that and cell i want to know the width let's consider uh, i'm going for the width as 199 height as 10 and i want to write uh, welcome to pdf uh, making you a uh, pdf generation so let's consider a uh, welcome to generating pdf files using php okay thereafter uh, i give zero and i give one and one more property that is c uh, it goes like this uh, zero means uh, no borders one that means that's uh, thereafter you're not going to write anything on that line 
and C stands for center. You can uh, go through this uh, fpdf.org and in that you go to manual and let's consider if I click on this cell because that's what I'm using. So if you check up on this, these are the parameters it is going for this. First is width, then the height, then the text. So that's what we have written over here. Uh, let me uh, minimize this way. So cell, then what is saying the first parameter is width, then the height, then the text what you want to write. Uh, thereafter it says border. What I written zero. Zero means no border. If I write one, I I'll show you that part. Uh, thereafter the next property is this one. This one means uh, end of the line and a last property is related to alignment. So let me save this and let's cross check. I just refresh this page as I'm not passing any parameter it will uh, open it. Look it's coming. Now what's happening here hello world and then welcome to generating it's coming on the same line. Uh, the reason happened because uh, if you check up on this the PDF file uh, cell hello world you haven't given any of the parameters. So let's consider we want no border and we want to commit on the next line. So point 0.1 I will just put 0 0.1 and refresh it look. Uh, this is coming in the center because I have pro provided the align property as uh, a CO yeah. Okay, uh, now before we uh, close this, uh, let's consider you are creating any PDF file and uh, while saving, by default what happens, it gets saved as doc.pdf. But you don't want to save this file as doc.pdf, you want to have some predefined name. You want to download while it's getting downloaded. You need to use some predefined name. For example, uh, let's consider uh, it's an invoice bill. All right. Uh, if you are creating that for generating an invoice bill, then that invoice bill have one unique ID that is invoice number. So in that case, it should get saved as uh, invoice number dot PDF. Uh, for example, uh, or uh, apart from your uh, that number, if you want to save this as Sam dot PDF. Let us consider I want to save this file as sam.pdf. So what I will do, I will uh, change the attributes or I will pass some attributes to this output function. Output means that you are going to, uh, how you are going to save it, what should happen. So let's consider I am using one variable x and in x I am saying I want to save this file as sam.pdf. So I am passing this x as a attribute and another parameter as I. Let me save this. Okay, so what I do, I just go here, I click, so it's getting opened. But now if I try to download this, it will get saved uh, as sam.pdf. So let me say OK and let me cross check by default it's getting saved in my downloads folder. So let me check my download folder. Downloads, let me open a new tab. Okay and here we go here it is okay anyways so one more thing that you can change uh, the font size it's up to you uh, let's consider before we stop one last line let's consider over here I'm saying uh, I want uh, this to get displayed with some uh, higher font let's consider 24 and uh, I miss that okay save it and uh, let me refresh yes so that's how it is uh, you can go through this uh, fpdf.org in detail uh, you can go through the manual how you want to have the header and footers everything it's explained quite well and depending on how you are gonna to uh, or for what purpose you're gonna to use this uh, it just has a small glance it will help you out all right okay we stop here uh, and secondly kindly like and share this thank you